Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Parker Chase, who will drive the number 15 Toyota uh, this weekend for Venturini Motorsports in the upcoming Arca Menard Series race at Kansas Speedway. How's it going? Good. How are you? Doing well. So you're going to a track that you have been to. Um, what's that experience going to be like from when you ran there in the spring to now? Um, so, yeah, we went to Kansas and honestly, our, our setup was quite off, um, last year. So, I mean, I guess setup wise, I think everything's going to be a quite a bit different from where we were last year, but, um, just going to somewhere that I have experience at is, is going to be helpful for sure. I really like mile and a half. I like Charlotte a lot. Um, we were quick at Charlotte last year and we were fast this year, but you know, dash caught on fire like at the start. So, um, results weren't great but i'm excited to get back on a mile and a half yeah um I haven't had, speaking of that i haven't had a chance to ask you about that what was that like i was just hoping it was going to put itself out and i was hitting it with my hand trying to get it to to stop burning and it didn't so uh and I, eventually the lap that i came to pit lane we lost all power and the motor cut off and everything so luckily we could coast into pit lane and then got it sorted out and went back out yeah that's uh, is that the that the strangest thing you've seen when you were in a car? Uh, yeah, kinda. But like I, we were coming to green and it started smoking a little bit, and Corey was behind me. And after the race, he's like, "Dude, I saw the smoke dumping out," and I was like, "There's no way this kid's gonna keep driving." And I did, and then finally I just shut off. So it was frightening. Yeah. So as you mentioned uh, to me earlier, um, you just made the move from from Texas, where you've called home, now to North Carolina, um. What's that been like? Uh, it's been different. I mean, obviously, it's like 1,200 miles away, so the landscape's quite a bit, bit different, different time zone, different type of people. Everything's different. Um, but I've taken a liking to it. Uh, luckily, I've, I've made some friends before I moved out here, so I didn't come out here being all lonely by myself. So it's been uh, quite an easy transition. I miss Texas at times for yeah. numerous reasons, but, um, yeah, yeah I'm, it's, it hasn't been bad at all. You got some solid tracks coming up for you. You, of course, you'll be in the Arca Race of Kansas um, next week at Bristol, and then you'll be in the uh, the Arca West finale at Phoenix. You got some solid tracks, obviously, all three that um, all three touring series run. What's that going to be like to gain experience in all three of them? I believe you've been at all three tracks. Yeah, I, I went to all three last year. Did I? Yeah, all three of those I went to last year. So um, just finishing off the year at places that I've been to. I actually went to Phoenix and the beginning of the year too. So it's going to be my third time at Phoenix. Uh, but yeah, just going to places that I've seen before um, will help, you know, having limited practice like we do. I guess it's only like 30 minutes or whatever it is. So just, you know, going into somewhere that I, I know the the landscape of the place will, will be helpful for sure. Yeah. Uh, well, as you make these uh, transition to stock cars, what's, what has that been like uh, this year um, going going from that? I know you're still doing some of the IMSA stuff too, but what, what's that been like trying to balance the both of those? Um, luckily, I mean, I mean, I think living here helps a little bit. You know, we go to the, the IMSA weekends and then come back here and then I have like time to transition my brain from the sports car world to the stock car world, uh, just being here and going to the shop, you know, almost on the daily. Um, so I think, transitioning from the stock car or from the sports car stuff to the soccer cuff is a little bit easier than transitioning from the stock car stuff to the sports car stuff, just because, um, you know, I'm living the stock car stuff day to day versus going to an IMSA weekend. Um, it's quite a bit different. Yes. Um, what's the biggest thing you, what's the biggest thing you need to do to get around a track like Kansas? Confidence. I think. You do like on a, on a mile and a half, you're rolling quite a bit of speed and got to be confident in what you have underneath you that it's going to stick, um, which is where we struggled last year. It was so free and it was just not enjoyable to drive at all. And uh, I think everybody was fighting that except for Ty because I think he left like the entirety of the field. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then going into the, this weekend, last three races, what do you want to see out of um, your Venery Motorsports team as you uh, kind of close out the season? I just hope that we can perform as good as we do at, at Charlotte. Um, I mean, Charlotte's like really the, I guess the only true mile and a half other mile and a half that I've been to and I'm confident there and I'm comfortable there and I, I enjoy going to that place. So hopefully we can have a similar, you know, rating of 
um, like the the chassis because uh, at Charlotte I've been comfortable both times we've gone there I love the setup and then we went to Kansas and I wasn't happy at all so hopefully we can be as happy as we were at Charlotte and uh, that should deliver a good result. Amen. Yeah, all right, Parker Chase. Thanks for thanks so much for jumping on here, and we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, thanks for having me.